everybody. How are we all? Well, there's a fair few of you here, so let's get stuck in because um, there's quite a lot to get through. But I, really, what I want to do is is show you how quickly this this die set comes together. So if I just quickly run through everything that I'm going to be using. Now, there's a lot here because there's four cards that I'm putting together. And there's four cards because really I wanted to show you how easy this set is to put together. OK, the time wise. So obviously I'm using this fabulous layering die set. And the thing that I like about them is that Lisa's numbered them all. Now, when she demos her stencils, she always says your first one will be your worst one. And these are the same. So what I would suggest you do, which is what I did, is get some cheap card. Don't use copy paper because it won't work the same. Get some cheap card, die cut it and stick it together. Just do it once. And as soon as you've done it once, it will all become crystal clear. So the picture helps an awful lot. But if you do that with a piece of cheap card, die cut it all in one colour and then glue it all together. And then your next one will be perfect as will all the others that follow on okay so i'm also using the nested and scalloped circles and an absolute must have in your craft stash so if you haven't got them i'd get them because you will you will just use them again and again and again so i'm also using the layering cubes stencils but they just give you the most beautiful backgrounds they really do so i'm using those I'm also using the Harlequin Bubbles die set. I'm also using the Rose Garden stencil. It's only a single stencil and I haven't stenciled it as it is. I've just picked out little bits and used it in a background. And obviously I've used the rose because I'm using a rose layering die. Um, I've used three different embossing folders to emboss the vases. OK, I've used the padded quilt. I've also used the, oh, I can't put that away right, the cubes and the weave. So those are the three different ones that I've used just to emboss the vase, just to give the vase a little bit of different interest. And then the other two die sets that I've used um, are the bold phrases. Um, and then I've used the slimline festive check frame. And then for one of the sentiments, I've used the um, ticker phrases, which were one of the very, very first um, stamp sets that Lisa bought out it, it's not available anymore but I stamped loads so it's just a, a different sentiment to use really okay now I've covered these up so I didn't spoil the I didn't spoil the surprise so I've been die cutting can you tell <laughs> I've had a bit of a a bit of a spree on die cutting so what I want to do is just go through the die set with you so that's your vase and you can see here I've got two vases, one which I embossed with the padded quilt and one which I embossed with the weave. OK, I will come in a little bit closer in a second so that you can see when I come to do the, the layering dies. So that's your vase and um, you can use it or not use it. Um, and there's a mix here. So I've used it on some and I've not used it on others. All right. And then you get your dies that cut everything out. So the first one, sorry, the first one is your base flower. OK, you could just use that if you wanted to and just cut it out because it does look fabulous on its own. As you can see here, there are three here that I've already cut out and it looks amazing on its own anyway. So if you wanted to, you could just use that that die. OK, so that's your base frame. Then you get all the parts of your flower head, your main flower head. So that's going to go on here. All right. So that that all cuts out in one go, which I think is a genius idea. Then you've got the leaves. So you've got three leaves down here. They cut out individually. OK, then you've got the piece of um, I can I never know what it's called. It's the part of the bud when your rose is growing. It's the part of the bud that opens out and the leaves sort of peel back to reveal the beauty of the rose. So that's this piece and you get the base and then four extra pieces that go on top. And again, they'll cut out in one go. OK. And then you get 
this little one here which is to go with this little bud here so you cut this out in one go now i would cut this middle one in green because for me this is the the bud covering um for the little flower as it's starting to come out okay so those are our die pieces all right now then you can see that i've cut several here and i really i've cut several to show you different ways of putting them together the fact that you don't need colored card the fact that you don't need oodles of different colors card wise you can use one color and change the color up or you can use three different colors or you can just ink your own paper okay so the first one is the yellow one now the other thing i would say is you can add these as they are okay you don't have to do anything with them you can just add them exactly as they are all right but if you wanted to shape them a little bit you could do just use a foam mat and very gently just can you still see that just go around the edges just to give the edges some shape all right and then when you come to add it down you've got a, a more 3d look so i am going to use some 3d gel but i'm i'm not using very much at all because i don't want this to be really really deep all right what i would say is if you try and do 3d with the tulips be careful because i i have done a 3d one with the tulips but because they're tiny flowers they are quite fiddly it's worth spending the time if you want that look but it's a fiddly job because they are very tiny flowers okay now you can see that there are marks on each of these sets which will again give you a guide as to where to place your flower head okay so not only have you got the numbers on the actual packaging that shows you the order that you would put them down you've got markings on each die that will help you as well all right so following this following this diagram it's to one side of me so you might not be able to see it but let's, let's move those and leave that there you can see that there can't you so i'm going to slightly shape all of these um parts of the rose just on this one flower i'm not shaping it on all of them because i want them all to look a little bit different so i'll just move that mat back you can see i'm only using really tiny amounts of 3d glue gel because i don't want it to be really really deep all right now you can see here your shaping matches all the way up so it's going to be easy to line up your pieces with the piece underneath okay so again you're getting 3d without really trying so shape my leaf my petal rather only very slightly and then add my 3d glue gel to the back of that little petal and then add it to my flower and again the shape of this gives you way where you're going to put it so you can see here this shape follows round here and this follows this piece round here all right so you're going to be able to line it up reasonably easily it's a bit fiddly because i'm using 3d glue gel but i think it's worth the effort okay so then you come to your next piece some are really tiny some you won't need any shaping on at all and you'll need very very little glue because there's, there's only a, a tiny tiny space to fit it on okay but i do think it's i do think it's a pretty way of using it now you can see here again i'm i'm going to hold this up so that you can see this a little bit better you see here where the the um indentations are on these petals below that's going to give you your guide as to where to place this next piece okay so it's just going to sit on the edge of this petal but lining up with the petal underneath okay right so this one is going down here now if i lift it up again you see here where the shaping is if you look at your petal shapes you can see the shapes underneath where you're going to add your next layer all right and it's just literally going to cover the edge 
of that that petal that you've just put down okay like so oops it's quite difficult trying to do this and holding it up at the same time especially with 3d glue but we'll just go with it okay so you've got layers now that that are quite raised okay can you see the the depth that you're getting now by using 3d glue gel yeah so then you're going to come in with this now. and again you can see where to put it because of the shape of the bottom part of the rose so this piece here so it's it's this piece and if you if you look all these markings show you where that piece goes can you see that right now then this piece is going to go across the bottom here but i'm not going to put that on yet because what i'm going to put is whatever it's called I'm going to add that down next okay so you get this beautiful little piece and again I'm not sure if you can see them if I bring it up quite close you can see there are marks on here and these marks match there you go those marks match the pieces that cut out of the die okay so you can see on the die you've got those marks here and they correspond to the marks on the pieces that are going to sit on top of there okay so it's easy to line it up and when I say it's easy I, I honestly I do mean it it isn't it isn't difficult it really isn't it's probably more it's a little bit time consuming but oh my goodness the effect that you get for the time that you've spent is outstanding it really is so this is going to go here so I'm going to build this up Okay, so with it being 3D, I'm going to have to build it up quite a bit to match the level of the rows. All right, so then I'm going to come and put these pieces in. And I'm just going to flip them over and just add my glue gel to all four pieces. And then I can, and then I can concentrate on putting them down. And then I can come back and add that separate little piece of the yellow on top of all of these little bits of green that's probably a bit too much glue gel but it is so worth the effort it really is okay so i'm just going to add all these down here and again it will show you which way up your pieces are going to go okay so if you look at the picture here the picture shows you which way up your extra petals extra layers go on top of this main piece all right so really it's guiding you all the way through it really is it's it's just a genius genius idea now this piece i always want to add the fat piece at the top and it isn't the fat piece goes at the bottom and if you follow the shape of the piece that you're adding it to that is so obvious be be trust the guide on the pack because it's spot on it really is now it is a little bit fiddly with 3d glue gel but i think it's worth the effort i've probably said that a couple of times now but it really is the others will come together a lot quicker than this because i'm only using ordinary ordinary glue on the others so i'm only using 3d glue gel on this first one okay and then this sits across all of those pieces so you're hiding the join if you like but you are going to stick all that down like that okay so then this piece with your little um bud this one goes on the little bud that's on the side here so let's do the 3d glue gel on all the pieces and then we can just add them in one go so we go with the first one go with the second one and a teeny tiny bit on the third one like so i'm going to leave that on there because it's going to be easier for me to take it off there so i'm going to add this down and again there are markings on each of these so again you'll be able to see exactly where to add all your pieces all right so this piece 
is going in the middle here and again there is a mark there that will show you exactly where to put it so that piece is going in the middle and then this piece is going on the top like so how cute does that look and then you've just got your leaves to add now I will shape these ever so slightly only because I just want them to look a little bit a little bit more 3d than they already are okay so this one I'm doing last because this one sits at the front of all the other petals it does in my head anyway so I'm going to put my 3d glue gel on these I'm only using one little one little blob because I don't really think you need more than that and then I'm going to add these down onto my onto my base flower and just push it down till it meets where you want it to be and then and then just leave it so finally my last one is going down there and you can see that that sits on top of that leaf there okay just make sure i line it up with the petal underneath and there's your 3d rose and i think it just looks amazing i'm not putting a vase with this one i'm actually just gluing it down flat because obviously there's quite a bit of dimension in it anyway onto this piece of card now you can see here i've used um one of the foil plates I did this ages ago so I've just cut out one of the, the rectangle that comes with the harlequin bubbles and I've just used that as my base and I've used the bold phrases as my um, sentiment. It's a five by seven card now obviously I've got to be really gentle with this because I don't want to don't want to spoil any of my 3d bits but I want enough glue on there to make sure that it that it sits nice. And I am literally just going to pop that down on the middle of my card, like so. And just leave it for that 3D glue gel to dry. But doing it with 3D glue gel, if you look at the depth that you get on that rose, it is absolutely fabulous. How could you not like that? If you Can you imagine if you did a, a bunch of them? So that's my first one. I've just put that to one side. Now this second one, I'm only I'm only adding the the petals and the the flowers and everything just with ordinary glue, okay? But what I am going to do is I'm going to use more than one color. So this will just give your rose a little bit of added interest, okay? So I'm not going to use this piece as my base. I'm going to use this piece as my base as you can see it's a slightly different color and this is the beauty of having the die set I mean the die set takes seconds to run through because it cuts so beautifully and it gives you all these added extra markings so that you can line everything up it's just a genius genius idea and then I'm going to come in with different colors and different levels just to make it look a little bit different okay so I'm going to go with this one for the first layer sorry second layer can you all see it okay I know it's I know it's quite a way away but I want it to be in focus all the time and if I come too close it won't be so lining my my shape up with the markings that are on the one underneath I'm just going to add that down now again this isn't going to be as dimensional as the first one because obviously I'm using it quite flat um, but again you could shape it if you wanted to just add your shaping to the to the corners you know the edges of the petals and just add your glue right on the edges so that the middle is a little bit raised right so we're going to go in with this one I should probably use my diddy bottle because this might just give me too much glue but we'll go with it for now and then we're going to come in with 
a different colour. Yeah, making sure I've got them in the right order. I did lay them out in the right order, to be fair, so that I wasn't thinking about it while I was trying to show you. But now that I'm not using 3D glue gel, can you see how much quicker it is putting them together? And the more you do, the better you will get. So it is, like I said, like Lisa says to you, your first one will be your worst one. Um, it, it's just one of those things. You get better and better and better. So then I'm going to come in on top of that with my calyx. So I'm going to add this down over here before I put that extra part on in a different colour. Just so it gives it a little bit of a, a different look, having different different layers in different colours. And this glue is fabulous glue. I mean, this is Lisa's glue, but obviously it will give you enough time to um, for your card to catch, but it'll give you enough time to um, have a little bit of a fiddle around. You've got a little bit of wiggle room, but not very much at all. So now it's getting a bit fiddly, but not too fiddly. Because I've done one, well, I've done several now, but because I've done one, it becomes easier, it becomes quicker. You get more confident in what you're doing, where you're placing it, which piece goes where. And once you start and layer it up and you start and get used to the look and how it looks and how it layers and which piece goes where, I'm not kidding, you will have a production line like I've got here and you'll just keep going and you'll end up with a whole bunch of roses by the end of the day. And they are just, just fabulous. So any sort of card, any sort of project, going to look amazing just make sure that they're lined up properly with the one underneath and then I can add my bud in now then which colour shall I go with I think I'll go with the really pale yellow one no I won't because I've used that so we'll go with that one and then I can add a darker bud in the middle so I can use this bud here. Not got enough glue on there. And now I've got too much. And again, it'll show you where to put it. Don't worry if you get overspill with your glue. You can either wipe it off with a cocktail stick or wait till it's dry. It'll dry clear anyway, so it's not going to spoil anything. And then just add your your calyx onto your bud as well then you can come back and add the leaves now if you want to take that little bit of the inside bud a little bit higher you can so that you can see it better that's not a problem you can do that as well so again we're going to just add the leaves so this is a completely different look to the first one but in my opinion equally as beautiful because of just the way they work together okay so this one is going on here let's just put those to one side this one's going on here and this one is going into here like this okay so again i'm adding this flat because i've got dimension on the bars and the sentiment and again i've used the bold phrases so i'm just going to pop that down there you can put the rows as low down in your bars or as high up in your vase as you want to just depends what sort of look you want okay oh i didn't put the thing on did i let's let me put this down on here because i forgot i'm gonna add this on here like this see that just finishes it off and i'm and i knew instantly i'd missed it off because i've done two or three before okay so that's number two that will that will dry beautifully and it won't move by the time that glue is dry so number three 
Now this one is where I said I'd use the rose stencil and I've, I've quite literally just picked out parts of the stencil that I like. I haven't used it in just one place. OK, this is from the bubble squares and it's just flat on the card. But I think doing the background just gives you the impression that it's a layered card where well, it isn't actually. It's just flat. And you can see I've cut my um, bold phrase in Lisa's fabulous brand new glitter card and just backed it on pink because obviously my rose is pink. So I've got my base rose and I'm not using the bars on this one. I'm quite literally just using the rose and I'm going to put the rose at an angle over here so that it sits with that. OK, and in fact, I think what I might do is put the rose down and then work on top of the bit too much glue there, Dawn. So I'm going to put my rose down first because what I'm going to do just while that's adhering, is I'm just going to add a little bit of colour to these here. I'll just bring my bit of scrap paper in. And all I'm going to do is just use my stencil brushes and add a little bit of extra colour. They are fiddly to pick up these bits, but they're a joy to use. So now I'm just going to use my stencil brushes with a bit of sugar candy ink from Lisa. And I'm just going to brush gently up off my paper onto my card. OK, I'm not going to go mad on this bottom layer because you're going to cover most of it up. But it's just really to just add a little bit of colour around the edges of this base piece. OK, so that's going on there like that. And then these you can go into a little bit more detail if you want to. Bear in mind, you're going to cover that bit up. This is the bit that's going to be sort of showing. So you want to come in on here. And it's it's, it's literally as easy as what I'm showing you here, just to add a little bit of colour. If you want to go really quite different, you could also add a bit of orange in just to give it a different look and that way it becomes a bit more like a piece rose because the piece rose is sort of a pinky orangey colour isn't it um so just you know just use a little bit of artistic license i suppose and just add a little bit of colour where it's going to be seen don't have to go mad don't take two minutes We'll just add a little bit of extra colour onto one coloured card. So you see, you don't even need to use more than one colour card. You could just use one colour and add in your shading, like I'm doing here. And it's it's so quick, but it's really effective. But if you haven't got coloured card, don't worry, because you can also colour your own card and then cut your, cut your dies out and that will give you another completely different look. I am running over so if anybody has to go then I do apologise but I just wanted to go through the different just different ways of adding colour, changing colours um, just to make it look a little bit different really. So I am just added my colour to those. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to do any more, otherwise I'll be here all day. <clears throat> so, we can now add our layers to our main card. And again, I'm not shaping, I'm not, I'm not layering with 3D glue, I'm just using ordinary glue on coloured card and just, just going for it, just layering them up. Because, to be honest, the layers that you've got in here look fabulous anyway. Well, I've probably got that wrong. No, there it goes. There. There are so many different ways of adding your colour. Just, just go with it. If you know it's a bit of card at the end of the day, you're not gonna you're not gonna ruin anything, are you? You're just gonna have fun. I'll just make sure I've got this the right way up. That way. See, just refer to your picture. 
if you're not sure which way up it goes your picture will tell you which way up it goes and it will look fabulous when you've finished that's why it didn't look right because i've missed a layer out oh well never mind i knew it didn't look right for a reason hey ho so then i'm just going to add these down now obviously it's going to look totally different to the other roses because there's a layer missing but i don't think really it will matter it's not going to spoil the look completely um it, it just won't now again i am just going to add a little bit of colour but i'm only using what's left on the brush so that i'm not wasting too much time still looks good without that one yeah it does but i know it's not right now don't i I mean, you know, the person that's getting the card won't know, but I will, and that will, that would bug me. But, you know, whatever, whatever. It's a piece of card at the end of the day. Just add my colour and then add my little, add my little bud down. Okay, so I'm just going to leave. I'm going to move that up a little bit, just so that I can see it better when I add the little calyx part. It is so satisfying sitting doing these. I can't tell you how relaxing. I mean, I'm rushing, obviously, because I'm trying to show you different things in sort of you know just over half an hour, but it is a really really relaxing thing to do if you've got you know once you've die cut all your pieces and you've you've got them all in front of you then it's it's just just nice to spend some time doing something a little bit different but that looks so effective when you've finished i just think it's i just think it's genius so there you go. Even with a layer missing, it still looks beautiful. I'm annoyed that I've missed the layer out, but it's one of those things. I will add the other layers here, but I just want to get to the other one because the other one is a little bit different. Now, I said to you, you don't need coloured card, and, and you really don't. You can make your own coloured roses, whatever you want to do um whatever colors i've just brushed a piece of card here if i show you i started with surfs up then i added red then a bit of deep ocean and then a bit of purple the um spiced plum and i just used my um wonder brushes and just brushed the card and then put my dies down and then cut my dies out and i did the same with the greens i've used um juicy pineapple and surfs up here just to make a green and then just put cut my dies out so that's what these are here but if i just if i just quickly put this last card together you can see here where i use the layering cubes um i've used the nested and scalloped circles as you can see and i've um gutted the the main circle and then just cut another one in white and just added that in white so I am going to put all of the layers down on here. And this is where I've added my ticker phrase, as you can see. I see that's why it didn't look right, because I hadn't got a guide to follow. But this is just to show you that you don't need loads of different shades of coloured card. You really don't. So long as you've got ink pads and white card, you're good to go. You really are. It's just, it's just such fun making your own colours. You know, you don't have to use bought cardstock. Um, you can you can just have a play, make your own colours up, then die cut your pieces, and then put your card together, and you'll get a different look every time. It's just, it's 
just really clever and I've put that the, put that the wrong way up check your picture before you put your piece down then you won't get it wrong but it is really satisfying and I think the look that you get depending on what colour you've used you just get different looks every time and I just think it's I just think it's really nice so just finish this last one off and then I will finish the others off before I put the picture in the group um, and then I'll put the picture in on the YouTube um, thumbnail so that you can see what it looked like when it when they're all finished but I think the um, the peony for me is another one that's going to be really really popular I mean I think to be honest I think they will all be popular I do like blue roses I've got to be honest I think there's there's something quite special about blue roses um, because I think blue roses don't don't always look blue do they I haven't put much with this at all um, just a background and a sentiment and to be honest I don't think it needs anything else because they're just they're just such beautiful dyes um, I just think they're perfect I am gonna finish this one I think it's just worth spending the time to, to show you just how beautiful they can look using different methods different um, colors different layouts I just think it's I think it's worth spending the time so then I've just got these three little three little parts to the board I'm just going to add on here and you can see I'm not really using much glue at all um, with this one <clears throat> Can you see here where that bud goes over the top of that calyx? If you want to do it differently, you can put the bud down first and then put the calyx on, then the calyx will be on top of the bud. It just depends what sort of look you're after, really. So it's it's about looking at your dyes, looking at the pictures, seeing how they look on the picture. Oops, stuck to my tweezers now. Seeing how they look on the picture and seeing if you're happy with that. Because if you want to change it up a bit, then you can do Okay, so there you go. So I'm not putting anything else with that. I've already done the sentiment in the background. Um, I'll keep those to one side because I need those. But finish the pink one. But I think you'll agree that for, what, 40 minutes? You've got four different if i bring them down so you can see them four different cards four different colors four different layouts but equally as beautiful as each other can't really see that one properly can you there we go and i just think i just think they're they're really really clever die sets um easy to put together like I say when you do your first one use a bit of cheap card put it all together and make your mistakes on the first one because once you've done one the others will just follow and if you die cut all your pieces first like I did I mean okay I went a bit over the top I'd done several sets but if you do a couple at a time then you've got cards ready made haven't you and they're so quick and easy to put together you don't need much of a background very much for joining me everybody it's lovely to see so many of you here every time i'll see you all again very soon bye now